Okay, look, just a few years ago, I was broke, I had zero income, no unemployment benefits whatsoever, no health insurance, I was in piss poor physical shape, winded, going up a flight of steps, I was skinny, scrawny, I was scared to death I was going to end up homeless, I was depending on my parents just to survive, this was just a few years ago. Nowadays, fast forward just a few years later, I own my own house, I bought it in cash, I've declared my financial independence, fired my boss. I, um, I no longer worry about what the economy is doing, which is a good thing because the economy is very bad and very unkind and torturing so many people out there. And I'm on this, I, I go on trips, I'm in the Caribbean right now, and I get to work out with my favorite celebrity beach body trainers like Tony Horton and Sean T and Shalene Johnson and Leandro Carvalho, and I'm doing all these amazing things now, and, and considering where I came from just a few years ago, it just goes to show, it doesn't matter what your starting point is. Look, I don't know how the universe works. All I know is that if you line up your consistent daily action with your consistent daily thoughts in a way that's in line with the things that you want, somehow the universe will conspire to make it happen, and it will happen. It will inevitably come to pass. You just have to stop procrastinating. First, you have to figure out what it is you want and why you want it. And it's got to be emotionally very powerful for you or you're not going to do it. Because let's face it, anything that takes hard work and a daily discipline, you're going to quit on if you don't have a big enough reason why you need to do it. I see it all the time. Sometimes I tell people to just check their pulse. <laughs> so that's it. I don't know how the universe works. I just know that if you line up your consistent daily thoughts with your consistent daily action, the universe will conspire to make it happen, whatever it is that you want, and it's got to be in alignment with the things that you want. For example, if you're out of shape and you're overweight and so on, and you just want to get healthy, lose weight, get the energy so that you can play with your kids and all that sort of thing, and you're spending every free minute that you have sitting on the couch watching TV just because you've had a long, hard day at work and you deserve a rest or whatever, you're not going to get healthy. In fact, you're going to rot to death. You're going to get the opposite of what you want, and you're going to get a whirlwind of the opposite of what you want, and your life is just going to suck. It's going to be miserable. So you have to solve those internal conflicts. You have the power. Every minute in your life is like a, a little miniature block. Every day is a block, and every day consists of hours, and every hour consists of little minutes. And in any one of these little blocks of one minute, you can change your thoughts immediately and start taking action immediately, drastic different action immediately, so that you can actually start moving closer towards the things that you want, whether it be health, you know, maybe you can start getting off the couch 10, 20 minutes, a half hour a day, and do something that's more in line with what you want, and gaining more energy so that you've got the energy to do the things that you want. Or maybe you're broke, or you're sick of the economy, or you got a boss who isn't very kind and you're not getting the pay raise that you feel you deserve. Well, instead of spending hours a day on Facebook doing things that have nothing at all to do with maybe alleviating a tough financial situation, you could start spending that time more productively. Start learning about opportunity and studying it and then acting on an opportunity in a way that's in line with what you want coming out of that tough income situation. So there's another example, a very common example of an internal conflict that people have with wanting more money and to solve those income problems, but yet how are you spending your time? You're spending your time in a way that's not only not going to help your income problem, but it's just going to make it worse over time, and your life is just going to suck more over time because of it, because you have that internal conflict that you're not solving. And you've got to do that, otherwise life is just going to suck. And it doesn't matter where your starting point is. It doesn't. I know people that were sexually abused people that were physically abused, verbally abused, people with health problems that you wouldn't believe, who pulled themselves out and solved massive problems, just amazing success stories. There's a person here on this island that I'm on this week who was a quarter million dollars in debt, and uh, she had all sorts of problems, you know, house falling apart um, that they bought at the height of the, of the housing market bubble, and um, obviously now the house, the house is worth um, less than half of what they paid for, half a million dollars in debt, hospital bills in the hundreds of thousands. And you know what? She got started on opportunity. She actually invested money that she probably didn't have into this opportunity, the same one that I'm in, <laughs> coincidence. And now she's out of debt, 
hospital bills paid off and she's going to be able to move to a place in the country that she's always wanted to move to and things are great and she does this full time now just like me I do this full time now too because I spend my time differently I think Facebook is a great example because most people on Facebook spend it in a way that just makes them more broke not that you're spending money on Facebook because it's free but it's the time you're spending instead of inv instead of investing that time in yourself you're wasting that time say on Facebook and social media and maybe whatever else you've got going on if you go to the bar and drink a few beers every day well then you're just wasting money directly as well as your time but it, it doesn't matter whatever your daily action is start asking yourself audit your daily actions write it down on a piece of paper Are, is what you're doing in line with anything that you want if it isn't then your life is just going to be filled with more and more misery as you get older and if it is then stay on that path reflect once in a while to validate if what you're doing or isn't doing is working that's important and um, gosh beyond that I don't care where your starting point is or how bad life is right now if you don't get into where you're at right now in an honest genuine way you're in a mess whatever that mess is if you don't respect your starting point then you can't really get started to pull yourself out of it all it means your starting point is that's where you have to start and no matter how bad it is um, there's somebody who has done it before you who's of the same species a human being living in the same country living under the same political winds the same economic winds so that just shows you proof positive validation that you have the power right now to any one of these small one minute blocks you can start to change your life immediately absolutely and if you'd like to know more about that give me a shout